I'd like to start with the two perspectives, perspective risk assessment and system in Europe and world health change possibly linked to electromagnetic, electromagnetic fields. The International EMF Alliance, we have a group of life scientists, experts, and it's a 55 uh, scientists we have, part of supporting experts and medical and health experts, and we have 75 NGOs and non-governmental organizations supporting IMFA. <coughs> What's the contribution to this conference? The context and deeper layers of the policy system on EMS and health in Europe. The focus on different paradigms, science interpretations on laying the system and their deeper system origin and fundamental impacts on assessed EMF risks and regula regulatory decisions. Recommendations to direct the existing existing system into public health protection. World health chains increase chronic multi-system diseases. Last decades rapid growth of overlapping functional impairments often connect, connected to work or lifestyle. S such like neuro neurological and neuroendocrine health problems, stress, brain diseases, hypersensitivity, Primitive dementia, different types of cancers, bone joint and muscle disorders, etc. We have seen now for all a rapid expansion of public cost. Prime value of life is threatened, public health. Theft of structural and serious damage. Huge economic, social and health costs. For muscle and joint pain alone costing Europe 250 billion a year, disorders of the brain costing Europe 789 billions in 2010, and many more billions for other chronic diseases. Can these modern diseases be caused by electromagnetic fields? Is the increase of EMS a neglected factor in an unhealthy work or lifestyle? Can these fields cause strange multi-system diseases? What stability of the existing policy system to protect human health? We have two opposite science interpretations on long-term health risks. We have the tra traditional EMF safety communi community, and we have the recent EMF health community. World health is risk since evidence of serious disruptions to biological systems, associations with many of the increasing chronic diseases and disorders. Science interpretation within the risk protection system, paradigms and its wide effects, set of assumed concepts, theories and methods. Gender the organizing on the understanding of reality and an implicit basis for science interpretations. Thus guiding policy, reach, research and communication. The framework for risk assessments, chosen approach for assessing facts and overall risks, rules of the game for interpreting science, and outcome is more or less true to reality. Thereby major if effects on risk protection systems. And over here we have two very interesting books, it's Bending Science. Uh, one is from Thomas McGarity and Wendy E. Wagner. And the other one is from Naomi Orakes and Eric Conway, Merchants of Doubt. Uh, I want to say to you, read these books, it's very interesting. Over here we see an action profile of policy advisors. We have the scientific technical absolutists. They like to have strict evidence-based policy of the EMF safety community. And we have the cautious environmentalist. Precaution-based policy aim of EMF health community. The source is WISE, 2003. The two perspective, perspective, <coughs> perspective protection system for MEF in Europe. We have the traditional primary focus, direct safety of EMF te technology, and the recent EMF health community, long-term health and EMFs. Together, 
they give advice on policy, regulations, research, communication, and financial flows. The history of the current system for risk assessments. In 1884, the foundation of the Institution of Electri Electricity and Electronics Engineers. And we go on to 2002, we have IPRIP, exact physics framework for risk assessment was made, established. And the current system of assessment EMFs, the Bio Initiative Group presents the biology, biology guidelines in 2007. This science interpretation is criticized by the exact physics, European team EMF and Health. 2010, we have the, the complex biology scientists publish EMF skeleton resolution in Norway. Complex biology resolutions are neglected in many times. 2011, wide request for biologically based EMF standards, a new paradigm. We have the technology, technology industries like Kema, Yata, Telecom, the technical and medical experts like the EEA, Airpower, Scanier, BAO, IARC, and the technical advisory bodies, ICNIP, and so on. Then we have governments and authorities, European Council and via WHO and the technical implementing bodies like Senelec and ILO, for instance. This is an established network developed in the last century. This is the EMF health community environment and health institutions like ENSE, EEA, Hadio, IPE, A, Heal, Infa, and RN Group. Then we have the health oriented life sciences like BEMS and ISEMS, public health, environmental doctors, workers, patients, and civil institutions. This is the additional network developed in the last decades. We have two distinct paradigms, perspectives, and guidelines for EMF protection. That's the exact physics paradigm of the traditional EMF safety community, and we have the complex biology paradigm of the recent EMF health community. Over here you see a sheet for history, objective, action pathway, background, focus, and a method. That is traditional advice, and they have all impact of the policy. And the same we have for the emerging EMF health community. Over here we have an additional advice. We have the credibility of the exact physics, science interpretation, worldwide critics, appeals and warnings from experts, requests for a thorough review of the science base, exact physics interpretation that is highly uncertain, and eight, we have the conclusion, the, pro the protection system for EMFs. The historical system of EMF protection is based on exact physics paradigm of techno technological institutions. Our exact physics paradigm is fundamentally inadequate for living organisms since biological pathways are neglected and bi biological health risks cannot be assessed in a technical, absolutist way. This led to a highly underestimated EMF risks and misguiding information for worldwide policies. The exact physics EMF policy systems worldwide are thereby fundamentally unable to protect public health. According to the complex biology science interpretation, it's plausible that EMFs generate current chronic diseases forming a wider threat for global health. And an unlimited rollout of EMF technology may further increase worldwide chronic diseases and public costs. We have urgent actions to build a public health protection system for EMFs. Increase complex biology persons in key positions of central institutions worldwide. Implement complex biology guidelines. For instance, the Southern Scientist Resolution. Use environmental precaution profile for domain living organisms instead of technical absolutism. 
shift financial flows to complex biology actors. That complex biology parties develop a framework for assist assessment of long-term public health risks of EMFs and select complex biology experts in committees, etc. Public health and environment institutions should control technology institutions and not vice versa. And INFO will gladly assist in this urgent transition to a public health protection system. Thank you for your attention.